We're going to talk about today the collaborative software solution for distributed teams. So a little bit about um, the environment, so or the agenda I should say. As you can see we have a packed agenda. Uh, we will initially start with uh, more uh, formal introductions of ClearVision and Intland. Uh, we then move into a PowerPoint section which will highlight some of the challenges our customers are telling us about. Uh, this should take uh, around sort of 15, maybe 20 minutes. Hopefully we're going to keep it very trim. But it's, a, it's setting the scenes for the actual code beamer presentation itself. So please do bear with us. Uh, we simply do not have enough time to completely go through the whole code beamer uh, feature set. So again, we've identified some of the key features of code beamer and we'll be focusing on those. Uh, but again, if you have questions, just to remind you, please do feel free to ask those questions as we go through. Uh, we'll be winding up with a, uh, a more formal Q&A session at the very end. And by the way, if we don't get around to answering your question, uh, please do email us. You can send an email to support at clearvision-cm.com. Again, that information will be at the very end of the presentation. So, very briefly, um, horrible mugshot of me, but my name is Joel Toombs. I've been a director of ClearVision uh, ever since the company was founded. So my background is that uh, I used to work for a company called IBM Rational, or in those days it was called Atria. Uh, I have a number of years experience with uh, the Rash tools such as Rational ClearCase and ClearQuest. Um, ClearVision as a company, when it was first founded back in 1997, predominantly focused in that marketplace. Uh, we later diversified into the open source market and became very much independent, uh, which allowed us to do a number of things, select best of breed products, and one of those, of course, being uh, product CodeBeamer from Intland. Intland, uh, very similar to us, was started in 1998. Primary contact, if you want to contact uh, Intland directly, is Janos Kopany. Uh, the product itself was uh, formally launched in 2002, although there were some beta versions uh, in uh, earlier versions or earlier years than uh, 2002. Uh, uh, their main offices are in Germany. However, they have a number of partners supporting them around the world, and they also have uh, development sites in Germany, USA, and Russia. Uh, they were very pleased to win a number of awards uh, for the product CoBeamer. Uh, specifically in 2005 and 2008, the Jolt Awards, which are not easy pro uh, awards to win. So it does say something significant about the product, Copima. So what I'd like to do is just start off by talking a little bit about the collaborative challenge. So there are many challenges when developing software. However, one of the biggest issues still today is communicating between people. The new term in the industry is collaboration. Um, you know, for those of you who have got kids, young kids, uh, my kids are growing up in an environment where communication with friends is so easy. Uh, there's chat channels, video channels, forums, wikis, VoIPs. Um, there's so much information that's being broadcast. What would be nice is if we could have some of that collaboration information introduced into the software market. So life is so simple when you answer your own questions. When you're one person on your own, you don't have to communicate other than, other than with yourself. So one person performing many roles. Life is quite simple. Increasing the teams not, uh, does not mean productivity doubles. You know, I'm sure, again, we've all been in the situation where we've added to our development teams and productivity, which you would love to double at the same rate or increase at the same rate as the number of developers, it doesn't happen that way. Actually, far from it. It often uh, reduces, certainly in the beginning, and then increases in its productivity later on. As soon as you uh, introduce more than one person, everything needs to be shared and communication now plays a major role. Uh, the trouble is, we are, of course, human beings, 
and we interpret things differently. We remember a different amount of information. We make mistakes. We don't know about uh, we don't know about what everybody's doing. We sometimes need to be reminded. We have tools that help us do that. It's not just fellow workmates we have to communicate with. Regardless of whether they are internal or external, we all have customers we must communicate with. Uh, nowadays, customers want to be more involved, and in certain industries, such as maybe the mobile phone industry, they will require rapid response and cannot afford for any misunderstandings to take place. Customers want to ensure their requirements are being fulfilled. They want to log issues themselves. More importantly, receive regular feedback on anything that they've communicated to the supplier. Uh, they need to be reassured correct progress is being made. So again, we can see with our colleagues here, teams are growing. How do we keep everyone informed about general project changes? Nowadays, uh, developers or testers, doesn't matter what role you're playing, although you are fairly focused on the job in hand, it actually is surprising how often people want more information about the general project, how it's doing, uh, the status of the project. Are we on target? Uh, uh, have the customer changed the requirements? Has the market changed? What about new, uh, new personnel joining the company? be nice to know who they are, what role they're playing. Um, what about servicing your project in terms of power outages, uh, scheduled server downtime? How do we communicate all that kind of information? Well, centralizing on communications would be a massive advantage. Uh, one central location where everybody's used to going to pick up that information will be very good. To make matters worse, many projects are now, nowadays distributed. How do we communicate this when projects are distributed around the world? We've got developers in different locations, testers in different locations. Again, this becomes a communication or a collaboration nightmare if we're not careful. Well, perhaps we should take a leaf out of the open source community. Uh, there are thousands of developers working on thousands of projects located all around the world in different time zones. They managed to do it quite successfully. I appreciate there are different challenges, uh, different uh, requirements that they work under, but nevertheless, they have managed to solve a number of the challenges uh, that businesses today would like to resolve. Well, how do they do it? Well, they use collaborative tools. CodeBeamer is one of those collaborative tools in the open source market, as well as the commercial market. Outsource partners. Again, we have to work not only with customers, not only with our internal staff, but many projects nowadays are outsourced. So our customers, even our colleagues, rarely share the same first language. So we have developments going on maybe in Russia, maybe in Germany, and these, these are not their first languages. Although many companies do speak English as a common language, uh, as certainly as a business language, it still doesn't overcome the cultural differences. Different customs, behaviors, priority settings, interpretation of things, different values. Not forgetting, of course, changes in time zones. So how can we easily collaborate and communicate with all these peoples with all these different challenges? So there's a number of pointers on this slide, but I'm just going to pull out a couple of them. Uh, so whilst our customers' headaches are not all the same, uh, many do share a number of common challenges. And this is what we see from our customers. It's not something that we've designed. This is kind of feedback that we get on a regular basis from talking to our customers. They nearly all want thin clients or browser-based tools, uh, a common way for all projects to access the artifacts, uh, easy, uh, easy to use interface which can be used uh, by many different kind of people. So developers uh, still want to be able to extract the same information, maybe using Eclipse, but see the same information as maybe a project manager 
or a manager who wants to run reports.